Hello, dear viewers. Today, I want to share with you the topic, Elijah as a prototype of Carmelites. But before we start, let us begin with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and thou shalt be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that the same spirit may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you know that one illustrious figure in the world of Christendom, Judaism, and Islam is the prophet Elijah? Scripture presents him as man of God who defended the true worship in a solemn contest on Mount Campbell, as a fierce defender of pure worship of Yahweh. We can see this in 1 Kings chapter 18, from verse 20 down to 40. Every 20th of July is the feast day of Saint Elijah. For the Carmelites, the Appalachian Saints identifies him as one of our great heroes of faith and model of commitment to God. And Carmelites all over the world celebrate this great saint as one of the pillars of the Carmelite order alongside the Blessed Virgin Mary. Although very little is known about his background before coming to the limelight as one who is always in the presence of God. As the Lord Sabbath who lives, in whose presence I stand. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 15. Historians identify Elijah as son of Savar, born around 900 BC in the village of Tishbe in Gili, ancient Palestine. He was noticeably one who first led an hermetic life, which signaled the heroic commitment to prayer, contemplation, and service in every respect that benefits the poor and the marginalized. For later generations of Carmelites, St. Elijah stands out as the prototype of their contemplative vocation. The inspiration to contemplative prayer is evident in St. Elijah's spiritual experience on Mount Carmel, where he encountered God in a gentle breeze. This, for Carmelites, is revelatory of a soul longing for God in solitude, to listen, to converse, and to transform. And this necessarily leads one to witnessing in a spirit of zealous service to God and humanity. The first Carmelites, which lived by the spring of Elijah on Mount Carmel, never saw him, but drew inspiration from him and regarded themselves as the sons of the prophets. Even though from the institution of the first monks, Carmelites are identified as establishing an unbroken link of succession from the prophets Elijah and Elisha. Be that as it may, what is more important is the spiritual patrimony of prophetic witness to God. As a passionate defender of the truth, Saint Elijah gives particular inspiration to the Carmelite works for justice from a lived experience of prayer. This is evidence in our interest in humanitarian service and justice development. A concrete example is the Carmelite Prisoners' Interest Organization, CAPU, which aims at human and just treatment of prisoners and reformation of the legal system. To mention but few. As we celebrate this great sense, we are invited today to foster our relationship with God. As one always presents to us even more than we are to ourselves. This means taking our prayer life seriously. As through this, God reveals the many ways he wishes to work through us. And so we say, with zeal have I been zealous for the Lord, God of hosts. Happy feast day of Saint Elijah. <laughs>